Hey folks, Jason here from River Pools. Are you considering upgrading your coping on your fiberglass pool from cantilevered concrete coping to maybe a paver coping? If you are, stay tuned because today we're going to go in the field and we're going to look at how not to install coping on a fiberglass pool. Hopefully you'll find it informative, so stay tuned. Uh, on site here on a job, uh, kind of an unfortunate situation today. We're actually going to talk about something we don't want to do on a fiberglass pool. Uh, showed up today, I, I happened to bring my camera but I wasn't expecting to shoot, but um, I wanted to catch some footage of this because it's a good uh, learning opportunity. Today we're going to talk about how not to install coping on a fiberglass pool. Uh, you can see we've got a paver product installed here. This is a pool that was not installed by us that um, unfortunately the contractor was not able to complete the job and they're no longer in business. So the customer contracted us to come in and finish up. And um, this, is what, this is what's here, this is what's left. And the problem really is if you look at the coping, you can see that, you may not be able to see it, but it is just glued to the top of the fiberglass pool shell and there's no concrete underneath the coping. And if you look around at the coping, you can see it's up and down. It's very inconsistent. And it's not sitting on concrete. It's actually sitting on crusher run. Actually, it's not even crusher run. It's stone dust, which when it, that becomes wet, moves and we've got a situation where this coping is going to pop off the pool in very short order. In fact, if uh, we were to look here, you can actually see these pavers actually wobble with my foot just by, just by moving it. I mean, that's, that's what we have, okay? Just not gonna work. Now, what is the right way to install pavers on a fiberglass pool? Well, the number one thing you need is a concrete footer around the perimeter of the pool. It is okay to glue the pavers down, but you need to glue them to the top of the pool shell and to the concrete, and you need to use the right adhesive. Uh, most of the time, we prefer using mortar because it's a little more uh, stationary, but we have had a lot of success with the, uh, the adhesive as well. So I don't want to take up too much time today. I just wanted to catch some short footage of this in case anybody's wondering how to, how to do coping the right way. You can learn from, from doing it the wrong way.